Hello and welcome to Getting Your Money's Worth, the show that focuses on value. I'm Judith West and our guest today is Susie Coelho, author of Secrets of a Style Diva. Yes. Hi Susie, thanks <laughs> Hi. for being on Thank the you. show. Okay, so what is a style diva? <laughs> That's a very good question. Somebody who knows about style, but it's really kind of a play on words, this particular book, because it's a get inspired guide to your creative side. It's all about helping people bring style but to the their life. But the word diva has a, a little bit different connotation. Right. I mean, and this someone is kind of a style. I mean, I could, you could call yourself a style consultant, but you're not. No, because that would be kind of a boring yeah. title. Yeah, so yeah. This the is... word diva has a little bit, has, a, has more of a sexy sound to it. Right. Well, normally a diva is somebody who's sort of like, you know, Tina Turner or Cher, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Celebra a celebrity type. Exactly. And this is sort of a play on that because it's secrets of a style diva. But really, if anybody knows me, I'm not a I'm not a diva at all. I hosted shows on HGTV for you know the last ten years and contributed on many other. You're shows. actually hardworking. Exactly. Actually, a hardworking mom. Yeah, and exactly, and somebody who likes to inspire people and give tips. So it's kind of a play and a really okay. fun. So you're on our the sh getting your money's worth. We're a show about value mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, lots of hard-working moms listen for the, are listening to us for tips, um, especially around holiday time. Right. But, you know, I don't know, in my mind, like, do you have to be rich to be a diva? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. Maybe to be a diva you have to be. No, of course you don't have to be. And in fact, you can go online to my site and take the Style Diva quiz and see where you are on yeah, the Style Diva scale. Yeah, I have a few scale. questions. I, have a, I, I failed your quiz, but I have a few questions. You can't <laughs> fail the quiz. No, you no, cannot no, fail no. a quiz. Right. But anyway, as far as moms, you're absolutely right. Right now we're coming into the holidays and everybody's looking for value. And what I'm telling people is to really, really get smart about your shopping. You know, really not only look to save money, but look to save time because time right now for everybody is money. Whether it's time spent with your family or your kids you or looking for a job or doing okay. a job, so let's doing take, a better job. Let's take that apart. It's easy to say get smart. Mm -hmm. But Susie, you do this, you do this and you do it well. Give us some tips for being smart. Okay, so what, here's... Uh, what's, what's, What's tip number one? Okay, so I'm going to give you some tips that are not actually as style right. related as they are practical yeah, well, related. Exactly. Well, you know, sometimes style and practicality are, are very hand intertwined. Hand. Absolutely, and that's kind of the way I live my life, and I encourage others to do the same because it has to be practical. It's not about how yeah. unusual it can be or just how beautiful or how, it is. Yeah, or how many ingredients or something. Exactly. So here's a tip. A lot of people like to save money, so they shop at big box stores like a Costco or Sam's right, Club or something. Right, right. But I find that I go there and I spend three times as much because I have to buy in bulk. So what I've been doing lately is I've been sharing the bulk items oh, with girlfriends. And now especially that's a coming, good idea. coming into the holidays, we're making lists, we're figuring out what are those basic staple items that all of us need from toilet paper to paper towels to stuffing to whatever. Commodities. Commodities and also things like cranberry sauce or we all, want, right. we all want oranges but we don't want a big bundle. We all want apples but we don't That's a terrific bundle. idea. So we, um, one of us goes once a month and we share those basic items that we know that everybody Kind of like a co-op or something. It's like a co-op and right. also it saves time because they go get everything or you can go together if you want to make it a fun uh, affair for the family. You can make it a, right. But a lot of times we'll go individually and then we'll just okay. divvy it so up. So that's a great idea. That's so one go, idea. To, go to the the big box, buy in quantity, get right. the quantity discount, and then break up the case pack according to each one's need. Exactly. Here's another idea. And this is a really cool thing that uh, is actually brand new. American Express is offering a gift card. Now, we, we, we look at gift cards. Everybody buys gift cards at different stores. And, some, and, and I'm, I'm not so sure I'm a lover of gift I'm cards. I'm not a lover of gift cards either, and that's why I think this is such a cool product. This is something new. I don't like gift cards normally because you give them to somebody, they end up at the bottom of the of, of the drawer, or, and then later they come back and they say, oh, this gift card's not valid anymore, can you give me the money? Or I think the worst thing is some of these retailers deduct so much money each month for an unused gift card, okay, which I think is absolutely indefensible. Exactly. So this particular thing, which I'm going to be purchasing a lot of these this holiday season, there's no fee. They give a certain percentage to the United Way, so they donate oh, wow. to charity. But more importantly, for just the consumer, you can use this card forever. It could be at the bottom of your sock drawer for two years. You can pull it out. How do you and get you that card, it. Susie? You just go to AmericanExpress.com. Go to American Express and, office, or yeah. you go online. Yeah, and, and figure you out how to, to, how to get it. You have to be a certain, have a certain kind of card, green or no, gray or you black can or get, purple. No, you can get this American Express gift card no matter who you are. But uh, to answer your question, if you do, if you are an American Express user, which I am, because I travel a lot, it's yeah. great for insurance. I Once know. I forgot my, um, not forgot, I, my laptop got stolen in the airport. And 
literally within a week I had a check to replace it. Yes, yes. So I, I use there, American Express yes, all the time I, for that I, reason. I'm with you there. But now you can redeem your rewards points. And recently I redeemed my rewards points and I got a Bose headset, which is so fabulous to listen to when I'm traveling. Yeah, but and going, it was like $250. Yeah, I know, going back to the gift card. So you can, so you right, go, so you online, can get it, you go online, you can find out how you can get... you don't have to be a particular get, kind of, of card No, holder. anybody can get... You, can buy, you can buy it through, and, through using your American and Express. And the other thing that's nice about the American Express too is it's universal. And then, and then thirdly, if you charge it on your American Express card, you, you get, get reward points. points so right. it's a double value, exactly. Right. So now right. you're thinking, and right. that's what I'm talking about when I right. say smart thinking, smart shopping. There are ways to really look at the system and see who's offering something where you can get double your value, because that's offering a lot of value. And the most exciting thing is, I have a 19-year-old. He wants to get a hair cart with part of the money. He wants to use gas oh, wow. money. Oh. He wants to, you know, buy a CD. And you can take that card and you can use it at multiple yeah, places. Exactly. So $100 want, goes yeah, a long way. Or even you know, if you want to really take your family out and treat them to a nice meal for exactly. the holiday or something. And it's, you don't have to be a, stuck with just right. a sweater from yeah. the Gap Speaking or of that, you know, taking the card out into a, um, a nice family meal or friend meal. We've spent a lot of time on getting your money's worth, Susie, talking about creating memories. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, in these hard times, money spent creating memories. Memories last a lot longer yep. than a thing. Absolutely. And wouldn't it be nice for one of these cards to be used to create a memory of a sport outing together Absolutely. with your kid, or a family meal, or a theater or something, event, or a theater event, something that maybe you haven't been able to use discretionary money for, but exactly. cool as some kind of a family or friendly treat. Right. In fact, next week, um, one of our family traditions is whenever Cirque du Soleil is in town, we happen to love Cirque du Soleil. It's here in New York. It is? Yeah. Great. And, um, or one of them is anyway. Right. Well, every year when it comes out, usually it's once every year or two years, we always make a family tradition to go. And um, so now we have tickets for next weekend. And that's something that the kids remember every forever. time and forever. And then we always buy the CD and then we listen to Mister and Allegria and this and that and the other. So again, it's a memory. It's a memory. It's something great memory. you can do together. Okay, so we have, so, we, so the, um, uh, shopping in bulk and splitting it up, these nice American Express cards, which I'm glad to hear about myself. And, really I, an and there's no product. fee for it if you no go online. Fee. Oh, there's wow. not only no fee, you can use yeah. it forever, right. and you can purchase it with your American Express and get the rewards points and get these items for free from the catalog exactly. electronics and right. clothes. So it's, it's great. It's, it's, yeah. Um, what other tips do you have for us? Oh, well, there's all kinds of yeah, tips sure. to save money. Oh, here's a great one. Yeah, give this us a really is, good one. And this sort of combines both of them it's giving a gift and it's also creating a memory. What about giving your time? Now, when I say time, let's what do you say mean by that? It's, it, it's, it's, it's an interesting concept, but many of my friends are really good at something that I might not be good at. One of them's a graphic designer, one of them's a certain kind of artist, one of them is a great, better gardener than I am and loves to plant flowers. Why not give a gift of your time? I'll come over on a Sunday afternoon and hang with you for four hours and help you plant that garden, that vegetable garden that you've wanted to plant. Wow. I'll do your logo. I know you're trying to get back in business and you need yeah. a logo. Or, yeah. I mean, Whatever. I, think right. yeah. I could go and style somebody's yeah. house for the afternoon or help them with their wedding or a party yeah. or, or anything. Right. Or, you know, entertaining uh, event. Uh, uh, even giving a harried mom three or four hours off to go shopping while you stay while you home with the kids. kids. Exactly. I, mean, I, I mean, I remember those days with that trying to shop with the yep. kids. I can't think of a better gift than for somebody to say, here, you go to you Costco go take my kids. and I'll take care yeah, and, yeah. I'll, and bring me the kids and I'll take care of all the kids or something. Exactly. I, I think that would be, a, I, think it's a, I think that's a wonderful So giving a gift also, of time. That's also kind of a, uh, a gift uh, that is a, a, memory a memory gift. And mm -hmm. also it's a gift that doesn't cost a lot of money. That right. doesn't cost a lot of money. It's more it's more of giving to yourself. Yeah, it's a gift yeah. that keeps on giving because they'll always remember when those tomatoes grow and when the herbs come in in the oh. garden or whether, you know, whatever, you've helped them paint the, the bedroom or yeah. the something that they could not get to. But you are totally yeah. adept at yeah. doing that. And then every time they look at it, they remember you. And it's I've really seen, a gift. It's a wonderful gift. I've, I went on your website. I saw some nice decorating tips also. This time of the year, you, kind of, you want the house to be very festive. But again, uh, for most people, spending discretionary money is very tough right now. It is tough. And anyway, even if it's not tough, you know, when we know that in this country, one out of 10 Americans are unemployed, unemployed. One, under, under, one out of six is underemployed, it doesn't feel politically correct to have a lot of expensive bling no, around. it absolutely doesn't. And you know what? I can identify. People think that, you know, I might live in a grand house. I live in a small 1927 vintage house. I've been remodeling it myself for two years and trying to save right. on. And now I'm sort of caught with 
one of our you know big companies that we had a licensing program with went belly up. It was and a huge exactly? retailer, and we all know the well, retailers. Well, no matter what it is, so it doesn't I mean, matter who just, you are. You've been yeah, affected exactly. in some way. I just read something, and I say it all the time. I and mean, after all, we're in New York, and you know you're in L.A., and we're international, by the way. We're in Europe too. That's great. Even the rich. Even the rich don't feel so rich anymore. Even no, they if, don't. And even if you are, there's there's a sensitivity that it's just not nice. Well, to, there should be. Uh, it's just not nice to um, Flaunt show it. off. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I wrote a wedding book this past year called uh, "Style Your Dream Wedding." Again, all about bringing you know really good tips to brides about how to bring some style to their wedding and inexpensively, but just so beautifully. And in the wedding market. It's really not cool to have the sort of ostentatious, yeah. you know, full bling wedding as people have been having. Even if you're at the higher end market, I've been doing some research, yeah. and even yeah. on the high end, right. they're saying, you know, keep it in a brown we're like paper keeping, bag. Yeah, we're keeping it a little lower just because so, it's not politically yeah, correct, so, even yeah. if you have the money. So now we're, people want to decorate. Give us some practical, easy tips to do that to make your house look festive for the holiday. Okay, well, I actually design a line. One of the lines that I design is for grandandroad.com. And I design what I consider very reasonably priced merchandise that is something that you can't get everywhere else. And my pieces all are practical and they morph what are they from revolve? season to yeah, season. What are they For instance, right now it's harvest and we're going into holidays. So I have this harvest wreath and this magnolia mm -hmm. harvest garland. Now these look real, but they're faux and they can be used year after year and the great thing about them is not only are they inexpensive under a hundred dollars for some of these pieces but you can use them as a base and add to them right. and, and then for I designed, season, for season, and for the seasonal, yeah, fall, and I, whatever, yeah. right and I and a lot of people don't know sort of they want to pull together a new tree and they want new ornaments but they really don't know do I want this color and that color and this color and that color so I did something that I really wanted I pulled together an ornament collection that looks like you've collected over the oh, years wow. it's it's got us more instant, in, instant memories yes but it's got a more contemporary feel. It's not real vintage. It's actually got a more fresh and Are contemporary feel. Are these available feel. off your website? They're available at grandandroad.com. Yeah. And the great thing about this um, collection is it's you know 79 pieces and it's not expensive, but it takes you from fall to holiday. And what I mean by that is I have pine cones with beautiful ribbons and a little bit of glitter that you can use to decorate your table and for entertaining in the fall. what is the website the again? Grandin. G-R-A-N-D-I-N. R O A D, GrandinRoad.com. Sounds terrific. And I have battery operated right. candles that are LED, that are scented and it's flicker, and, um, and they're wax. So they're and just not expensive. Phenomenal. No, and battery operated, what's great is when you have kids and dogs who are running around with you their don't tail, have to worry about the fire. Don't have to worry about the fire. Okay, we have safety. less than a minute left. What is the single best thing to tell harried, uh, not so rich moms right now? Or well, dads. Well, or dads. Okay, I'll tell you what I would tell people. Just the concept, rather than feeling like you just don't have, a lot of people don't feel like they just don't have. I know. And, that and makes they're angst. Yes, and it makes people feel terrible. I know when I sort of get into that mindset at any given time, I'm like, I have to get out of that. So what can you do to get out of it? You have got to just get out of it by extroverting your attention and focusing on what you can create not what you don't have. You have to focus on the positive. You have to get into the frame of mind of things are going to be better and how can you create your life to be better. Whether it's putting a little right. candle Whatever, on the table, right. whether it's getting some pine cones, and, whether it's having a wonderful moment yeah, with the Susie family. And also, as a chief executive of the family, whether it's mom or dad or common, your own sense of peace with what you're doing and your own tranquility is probably the best gift you can give to your family yes, for the holidays. Yes, because you are setting the tone, tone for the family right. and it's very important for you not to feel like that and to let people know it's okay it's that okay we don't to, have. But, it's, rather, but we're all together we're and we're going to have a wonderful Let's holiday. Let's sit down, light a few have, candles and, wonder, and have a fun so time. So battery operated ones. Yes, battery Thanks operated. Thanks for being on the show. So I much, really Judith. appreciate it, Susie. You're watching Getting Your Money's Worth. I'm Judith West and our guest Susie Quelo gave us some great practical tips for enjoying the holiday.